drop down to uh, nothing. I'm going to go five, four, three, two, one. Hello, it's Russ here from Four Wheeling Yorkshire. It's Russ from Adventures, uh, the uh, 4x4 adventure company. This week we're reviewing the new Jeep JL Overland. Long wheelbase, 2 litre petrol. And it's going to be a great day because we're, uh, we're here in Yorkshire. We're, we've got snow, we've, it, it's cold, it's slippy everything about it and the great thing is white background with a red jeep what more could we ask for it's perfect i don't want anything hang on a minute white background with two jeeps in red and this one's the rubicon so what you do is you buy this one and a week later it looks like this one so that is the fantastic thing about the Jeep family you're buying to the Wrangler family and none of them stay like this you know the, 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 the dream is when you've bought it to make it look like this or very similar this one's been built by Storm Jeeps of Hull uh, you've got another one down south uh, Alec who runs uh, Buzz uh, you know, and there's two fantastic Jeep builders in the UK, and uh, there's probably a few others, but those are the two uh, that I know and, and, and respect uh, their work. So, what we've got today, all joking apart, is we're going to go for a ride out onto the Yorkshire Walls with the Overland and the Rubicon. We're going to find a uh, legal green lane by way open to all traffic. I already know which one we're going to and we're going to uh, have a little ride up and down that lane with these vehicles looking at the pros and cons of the standard vehicle and, and, and the one that's been prepared. Uh, another very interesting feature is that this is the 2 litre petrol twin turbo 8 speed automatic the ZF box. That's what you can buy now in the UK, you can't buy the diesel anymore at the moment. So. Uh, the differences between the diesel and the petrol is going to be interesting to have a look at. I have had this car three or four days and I've got to say it's wild. It, it, it's so powerful and so fast. It, it's unbelievable um, and you've got to get used to driving it. So, But I've not driven it in, in the slippy stuff properly or on a lane. So I think we'll see a little bit of difference in the, the torque of the engine and, and how the power is delivered. So, here we go, we're going to go uh, now up onto the Yorkshire Walls. Thank you everybody. While we've got an empty road in front of us, drop down to uh, nothing. I'm going to go five, four, three, two, one. Hit the pedal and go to 60 miles an hour. This will just give you an indication of how quick this car is. 60. We're around 
the Jeep Wrangler for God's sake. 60 in that time. It's mad. <laughs> it's flipping good. Well, bloody good. Wow. You know, I, I just can't get over how quick this car is. But you know. Hi, I've uh, had the uh, Jeep Wrangler uh, JL Overland for a week now and it's the first car put a big smile on my face for a long while it's awesome the 2 litre twin turbo petrol engine mated to the ZF gearbox works fabulously can't, can't say how impressed I, I am with the engine and gearbox now I didn't think I would was going to be um, as a, a big engine diesel turbo man it, it, everything about it was uh, stacked up against me being happy with a petrol engine but I've got to say it's fabulous I really enjoyed driving it now, this is the walk around so I'm going to give you the bits and pieces I don't like I don't think anybody likes the front bumper but Jeep's got to fit it uh, I think they've got no choice far from a big fan of uh, Bridgestone Desert Jewelers but yesterday I did tow a transit van up a snowy snowy hill and uh, they uh, they did the job but they're more all-terrain uh, sorry they're more road based than they are uh, all-terrain don't like the colour of the door mirrors not a big thing change that the first thing people do with uh, Wranglers is go and make them their own vehicle and, and they, uh, they go straight down to the shops like uh, GP and uh, Buzz and uh, start fitting uh, the wheels, the tyres, the suspension and the bumpers and everything straight away anyway. The infotainment in this car, I think it's clever how Jeep have got an iconic shape, kept it, and managed to fit infotainment and a dash like that into it, and it works perfectly. Heated seats, heated uh, steering wheel, uh, lights, every, everything. Uh, it's got LED lights in it these days. You can drive it in four high on auto, as well as you've got the low ratio gearbox. It doesn't have diff locks on the overland, and the, it doesn't have the anti sway bar dislocation. But how many people are going to need it? It's got a few legacies from the JK, like it leaks water onto your leg. Uh, well, not onto your leg, when you open the door pours water off there on, uh, onto your leg and onto the carpet but you can't have an iconic shape like this and, and it not do stuff like that so don't mind the wheels and got the classic jeep turn hook the boot it's no bigger than the renegade really it's got the integral uh, roll cage in it and when you drop the seat you've got the cup holders and everything there and, and it does the, the cup holders do drop automatically as well bikini on the back on the floor there more summer I'm not sure i'm a big fan of the color coordinated top but so what you know at the end of the day you make it what you make it but the actual vehicle very good I, I, i've if you actually get this on dry tarmac with no traffic and you do a standing start with it, not to 60, it just howls through the gears, that automatic gearbox, it, the changes, the, the power of the engine, it's, it's almost like a flipping sports car. Very, very, very good Jeep and uh, I was hoping you'd send me a Rubicon but really it, it, it doesn't matter there. <laughs> I think the last time I had a grin, grin factor from driving a car was probably the SVR Range Rover Sport. So to be up there in that uh, grin factor marketplace for me, well, that's something else. Anyway, there you go.